Hello guys, I am back, and welcome to my Terraform um, course, actually. This isn't exactly a specifically, this specifically for Terraform. What I'm doing right now is that I'm going to go ahead and create this course for multiple things. Um, one of them is going to be definitely Terraform because that's what I'm going to be using to deploy my infrastructure. The others, I'm going to be installing Jira, which is a free version. I've also got um, Jump Cloud for my, my SSL agent, uh, for my Linux logins and so on, so I don't have to do them manually every time. Um, I've also got, uh, at the end of it, I'm also going to be doing Rails tutorial. So it's sort of like a multi-playlist sort of type project going on here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start with Terraform. Terraform is going to go ahead and lay our multiple VPCs down, one VPC for for our remote instance, remote instance to log into the infrastructure uh, network, and other VPCs for the application to be served at, which is going to be the application in this case is going to be the Rails tutorial when I get to that point. Um, so that's basically it. Um, to get started, you will obviously going to need a Unix Linux based system, which be preferred. You don't really need it, but it's preferred. Uh, you will also need to use a specific, not a specific version of Terraform, but at least like somewhat close to the latest version of Terraform. Right now, as of making this video, the latest version is 0.11.7. Um, and Terraform did announce that they're going to do some major releases on the next uh, major version of Terraform, Terraform 0.12.0. And that's going to be a much more programmatic version of Terraform. Right now, if you look at some of the Terraform projects that you'll see in most companies, most people just use the bare bones, statically typed stuff in Terraform and just run apply, and that's pretty much it, which I will not be doing that in this course. I'm going to be trying my best to show you the full power of Terraform with all the built-in functions, conditionals, um, uh, the count base, and sorry, not account, a count resource based system on on how to handle different types of things to given on specific parameters to, to uh, provide it to Terraform to create specific resources. So I know that sounds a little bit, a little bit confusing right now, but it will make sense when I go ahead and type this all out and show you guys how that's all done. One thing to note, I switched to Visual Studio Code, uh, specifically because there is a Terraform um, plugin for Visual Studio Code that's actually excellent. It shows the number of res like number of references, specific resources or data sources are used, which again, I'll teach you all of that in the coming videos. So in this, in this uh, Terraform repo that I've got created here, I'm going to be creating the AWS VPC, the subnets. I'm also going to be uh, I may create another Terraform uh, project outside of the ones that are just for the network related stuff for my Jira tickets, uh, my Jira system installation, and uh, anything else that I may want. I'm thinking about maybe having GitLab and not having GitLab sticking directly to GitHub might be easier for me. I'm not quite sure just yet. Anyway, so please join me in the next videos. I'll talk to you guys soon.